The business has changed and many people are worried about recession. Today I'm going to share with you seven specific steps and strategies that you can take to recession proof your business. The first step you can take is to reduce your expenses. Literally, when we're going into this, it's hard to play offense when all you do is play defense. The expenses you have, I would encourage you, go back and look. What is it on your credit card bill that is coming every month that you just don't even think about? Are you on seven different streaming services, really? Are you out there and you have certain things that you're paying for on a monthly basis that you don't use anymore? Identifying those expenses, reducing those expenses, getting to a place where now you can begin to quit playing defense because all the money that you're bringing in is going out, now we're in a position that we can really start moving forward and have the confidence that we're going to do this in a way that's going to give us opportunity. Once we've reduced our expenses, the next step is, is to build cash reserves. What is it that you can do to get really focused on having cash available? Here's what happens. I've never seen anyone that added more cash or reserved more cash that felt bad about it later. Here's what happens is, let's say this market takes back off and you save some cash and you've got a little extra cash there, you win. Now let's say that this business pulls back, but you've got cash when everybody else needs that cash, you really win. Now you're in a position to really take and take, and take advantage of some opportunities that are gonna present themselves if the economy does get worse. The biggest thing you can do to get to a position where now we can start moving forward is to reduce your expenses and also increase your cash reserves. The next thing you can do to recession proof your business is to deepen the relationships you have. You see, odds are you have everything you need and the relationships you have in your life right now, in your sphere of influence, in your past clients that you need to continue to grow your business. What is it that you're doing to take advantage of the opportunity to deepen those relationships right now? If you've got a little less transactions happening, Use this time to really circle back, follow up, build those relationships with those folks that have entrusted you in the past. Once you build those relationships, everything that they see and they understand that you're doing in your business, they're going to want to share that with others. Now, instead of you going out and chasing business, you're going to begin to attract business because it's going to begin to be referred to you instead of you having to go out and generate it every single transaction you have. The next step is to increase your lead sources. Do you have and depend on one or two main lead sources for your business? What happens if those lead sources change? When the economy changes, typically the flow of different types of leads coming in does change. What can you do to expand it? I always think of lead sources or those ways that leads are coming into my business like a table. The more legs we have on the table, the more stable the table is. The more opportunities it has that if a wind comes through or if a storm passes by, that, that table is going to stay secure and it's going to stay upright. So what is it that you can do? Have you not hosted open houses in a long time? They're doing great right now. Have you not? Do you not have a geographical farm? Do you have online leads that you're purchasing? purchasing or do you have a system to reward those people that send you referrals? Or are you deepening those relationships like we talked about before? You see, when you get to a place where you've expanded the number of lead sources you have, your business is more secure. It is absolutely recession proof as long as you have a consistent flow of leads coming into your business. The next way to recession proof your business is, is to put out more video content. Listen, videos are not just something that generates business now. They have the ability to continuously add value to the marketplace into the future. So what is it that you're doing to make sure that the steps you're doing is not just an instant Instagram story that's gone 24 hours from now, but you're posting a true video that is talking about the value of home ownership, that is talking about the difference between buying down their interest rate and just going in and just getting a typical conventional mortgage. What is it that you're doing to talk to home sellers about what they should be doing to maximize the value of their home when they get ready to sell it? You see, when you produce more video content, you're recession proofing your business because it doesn't matter what this economy does, people are going to be online looking at videos. We are consumers of this type of content now. So what is it that you can do to make sure that you're positioning yourself to be the resource and to be the person that they view as the professional in your local market? Video does that for you. The sixth thing you can do to recession-proof your business is, is to do a video unsolicited CMA every single day. I know you hear it every time I talk about this, but it's because it works. This is what we're seeing working in every market in the country is doing these unsolicited video CMAs, going in and providing value in a different format than they're used to. Going in and spending on a video four to five minutes of sharing your screen, going over the comparable sales that are happening, giving them value. Again, this is another one of those that this will recession-proof your business by the consistency you do it. If you do one of these a day, every single day, I promise, there are going to be opportunities where you're going to have listings immediately and you're going to get calls six months from now from something you did back six months ago 
on that video unsolicited CMA. Do the video unsolicited CMAs and I promise your business is going to be recession proof. The last way to recession proof your business is to become the expert in a specific area. Do you have a specific area where you're known as the resource and the expert? Do you have a neighborhood? Do you have a school district? Do you have a specific area of your, of your community? What is it that you're known as the expert? When you dominate one specific area, you know that you know you're going to get opportunities because homes are going to sell in that neighborhood, in that area. If you're the dominant person and you become the, the absolute most sought after resource and professional for a certain area, you're absolutely going to get listing opportunities and buyer opportunities. If you want to recession proof your business, become dominant in at least one specific area. We can't control the economy and we can't control whether there'll be more transactions next year or less transactions. What we can control is the ability and the professionalism we bring to this marketplace. If you're looking to increase your business, no matter what this market does, make sure that you're out there taking these steps to recession proof your business. The bottom line is to bring more value to the marketplace and more value is going to come back to you. I hope this has been helpful and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. I specifically chose the video below for you because it builds on the one you just watched. I hope it's helpful and I'll talk to you soon.